belly to belly, face to face. Those eyes you take me to the start, sweetheart, sweetheart. Let's ride. <laughs> We've been in Costa Rica for about a month and we've been talking a lot since we got here about just, you know, resetting our, 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 our bodies, resetting our minds, like finding out how to maximize ourselves. We've been in America for it seems like forever, it was three months, and then we spent a month in Canada. We kind of left Canada like sluggish and, and feeling just like, like, just really heavy. We really just felt like we wanted to challenge ourselves on one hand but then on the other hand like maybe find something that would really benefit us in the long run. It started as three days and ended up being seven so you can see for me how it went. Doing something like a juice cleanse has a mass amount of benefit. Almost every religion has had some kind of fasting involved in it and so people have been doing this for thousands of years for for all kinds of reasons from the spiritual side to just strictly like the physiological body side so for us we just really wanted to detox and challenge ourselves because challenging yourself and challenging your day-to-day -day life is a really strong way to see what's working for you and what's not so what are the rules to the cleanse mark number one we can drink as many juices every day that we want Number two is we're gonna drink as much water as we can. Number three, we're going to allow ourselves as the third rule to drink as much coconut water as we want. Uh, but the deal is no food. Well, the, the, the whole thing was a roller coaster. My body was not prepared and my mind had to pick up the slack. We read it online. We read that day one was going to be very um, hard on us. It's 12 o'clock. My body is starting to really fade, so... It's 2 p.m. I'm like, oh my god, my brain. I'm really, really dizzy. Juliana just looked at me, told me she feels nauseous, and left the kitchen. I don't know what she's up to. And so this is where you really truly start to recognize the separation of your mind and your body. And this is where it became very apparent that even though my mind was completely set on completing this cleanse, my body was at this time, coming back from North America, in complete control. This is our veggie lunch juice. I wouldn't say it's the most amazing juice I've had, but it's nutritious. <laughs> So as it started to go, day two was still really difficult. I had some really intense sweats at times, but on day two, I figured it out. I felt horrible, and we went down to the ocean, and I surfed. As soon as I got in the ocean, I started surfing, I felt great. And I got out of the ocean, had another juice, and it was reset. Water, it cleanses your aura. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And it allows you to reground yourself, put your mind back in control, and tell your body, chill out, it's all gonna be okay. So for the seven days, I had a pretty solid juicing and drinking regimen. Crawl out of bed, I get a sort of an extra large size mason jar. I fill it with water. I put about five heavy shakes of cayenne pepper into it and lemon. And I drink that while we did yoga. So there's nothing better than starting our days here on the beach. Mark did some surfing, I did some yoga. We ordered two green machine juices from Love Burger. After that, I had my first juice of the day. Uh, usually around 7 o'clock, 7.30, and it would be heavy vegetable based. Usually around 11 o'clock before we really get to work, after we've made our list for the day, um, I'd, I'd add in my first, like, sort of pick-me-up juice, like a heavy pineapple and cayenne based fruit juice. And that was always the same juice at 11 o'clock every day. Then I'd drink some pipas into the afternoon. About 2 o'clock, I'd have another juice again, uh, usually vegetable based. 5 o'clock, hit one more juice and then uh, I'd have a dinner juice to end off the day, usually around 7.30. And that became a really solid routine for me and that helped my body sort of recognize what was coming and when. And that's when I knew it, like new habits were starting to form. My number one unexpected realization was how connected spiritually 
we are to our food. When you're digesting food all the time, and in North America especially, or just if you just have a bad diet with like heavy carbs and a lot of fats and sugars and junk food, because it's always processing, your body's always working, it's expending so much energy. So if you can alleviate that kind of energy, it's still in you. So your body takes it to your mind, to your head, to your consciousness. And all of a sudden, like I said, on day three, I woke up, I felt grounded. And I felt like everything was in place and I was just more aware. And this continued. I still feel completely mentally transformed, more focused, uh, more alert, able to, to speak and communicate or write or, or do anything that we have to do on a day-to-day -day basis that is creative. Day six, I actually woke up today feeling fantastic. We did about an hour yoga, and I wanted to start today with an intense green juice. <sighs> Broccoli, uh, passion fruit, uh, ginger, spinach, and lemon. Oh, look who it is. Watering plants. And if you look right over there, that's the stray dog, Hilo. He wants a little face for him. Look at that dog. Hi guys. Hi everyone. I look like a coyote. And a wolf. And a weird spotted owl. He's tired. He's been up all night, probably barking. <laughs> but it's really wonderful. Today is a beautiful day, day six. Day six is a beautiful day. I think it's really good to experiment with your body. I mean, these are, these are your vehicles. It's not you. It's our physical form. Our consciousness is inside of it. And the more that we can challenge it and understand it and look at it from a different perspective and learn, like when I would have a food craving, you don't feel an impulse like I have to have it. You feel your body telling you, you have to have it. And then because you're fully grounded, you cut it off before it even comes near your action, and all of a sudden, you're in full control again. Well, it's day seven. Honestly, I can't even believe it. Turns out that this was an incredible experience. What I, what I find is really amazing about this seven-day cleanse is pulling out the fundamental building blocks and rebuilding uh, our relationship to food. That we take moments like cleanses like this or switching our diets or whatever it might be to just sort of shake it all up and look at it and say, why do I eat what I eat and is it benefiting me? In the end, I just feel great. It's crazy. So much energy. I feel so much lighter. I've leaned out a whole bunch. It's amazing. Because at the end of the day, you are what you eat. So. How you feel and how strong your body is and how much vitality you have, it's directly connected. Good morning, it is day eight. I am done my juice cleanse mm -hmm. and Juliana has done her raw cleanse. Yesterday was a monster of a day. Just we did so much. Like went to a dinner party last night and I sat there drinking my pineapple juice, which was very odd. And what advice would I give? If you're gonna go do this, just make sure that you're watching your body. Be the watcher of your impulses and your habits. The experience of it is so valuable. I'll do this probably once every six months. I'm feeling great today, really great. I was told never to stop a juice cleanse when you're uh, not feeling good because then the next time you try and do anything like it your body will know how to get you out of it and it will use the same tactics to, to punish you into eating food again um, so it's perfect stick it out and be prepared for a very incredible eye-opening spiritually uplifting experience